That breaking news overnight, three Americans killed fighting those wildfires in Australia, their air tanker crashing. James Longman starts us off with the very latest. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. This was a devastating accident. Three U.S. firemen going down in their plane in what's being described as a fireball. They were in Australia tackling those ongoing uh, bush fires. And this morning, we're hearing a chilling call for help. Overnight, as the fires continue to blaze through this country, a harrowing call to emergency dispatch. Well, I call message red. Put your gap and message red. Like, crashed, huh? Yeah, fire comes. It's just uh, of all the flames. Over. Three American firefighters dead after their water bombing plane crashed. Our deepest condolences to those families uh, who've been impacted. And today is a stark and, and horrible reminder of the dangerous conditions. The Americans were in Australia to help fight the fires near New South Wales, where more than 3,000 homes have been destroyed and 28 people have died. Flames spreading to the nation's capital in Canberra overnight. Thick columns of smoke rising above the airport, forcing parts of it to shut down and stranding residents in nearby neighbourhoods. It was very, very smoky up there. No, sir. And my grandson lives in Oaks Estate and he's just been told it's too late to leave. America has already sent 200 people to help fight these flames. Remember, we're only halfway through the summer. Scorching temperatures are going to continue. So the United States will be sending more people to help fight these bushfires. Yeah, it's such a terrible situation. Okay, James, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.